So this gay guy goes into the doctor with a 12-inch vibrator stuck up his butt and says, I don't know how it got there. <laughs> the doctor said, maybe the gerbil dragged it in, you think? <laughs> so the doctor took x-rays he said, it cost you $500 to get that thing out. He said, $500? How much is to change the battery? <laughs> Junkin' Chet's Fried Chicken Have some tasty food They've even got live ammo If you're in the mood Hello again, this is Chunky Chet. From Chunky Chet's Family Restaurants. You say you're on the go, on the move. Maybe you just can't get out of the house. Maybe you're part of the witness protection program. <sighs> well, Chunky Chet's now delivers. If you can't come to us, we'll come to you. What our now famous drive-by delivery. That's Chunky Chet's. Home of the Chalk Outline. Locations throughout the state. Stop by today. We're waiting for you. Junkin' Chet's Fried Chicken. They've got some tasty food. They've even got live ammo. If you're in the mood. I can remember the very first time I ever got drunk. It's no problem for me to remember because I have three tattoos to remind me of that day. <laughs> I was 16 years old. A friend of mine talked me into going up to Memphis with him so he could get a tattoo. Well, on the way up there, a little bottle of moonshine rolled out from underneath the seat. Had about two fingers in the bottom of this mason jar. He looked over at me and said, hey, go ahead and drink that. I said, I'm not drinking that. Hell, I've seen my dad clean motors with that shit, buddy. And he put that pressure on me. You know the kind of pressure men put on each other. They got names they call each other. They have this one name. This fella called me. You know, he said, go ahead and drink it, pussy. <laughs> I never did understand the concept of that. You know? All men want to get in one, but they never want to be one. <laughs> so I felt obligated after that. So I went ahead and drank this stuff. Fifteen minutes later, I'm in the fetal position in the back seat of this car. So we get out to Memphis. He wanted to get a tattoo, but he didn't want to get it without seeing it on someone first. Well, hell, I'm like Mr. Etching Sketch in the back seat. So I ended up getting three tattoos, and he didn't get any. So they're shitty tattoos. I got one on my wrist. That's an eagle. All right, that didn't bother me too much. But it really pissed me off when he put his name on my arm. <laughs> Y'all won't believe how hard that is to explain to your dad. <laughs> so who's Herschel, son? Now, the worst one is I have a tattoo on my butt, and it's a stupid tattoo. I have rabbit tracks on my right cheek going into my butt. And I've got Elmer Fudd on the other side with a shotgun. Got a little caption over it. It says, come on out, rabbit. I know you're in that hole. I'll never forget that child's name. His name was Archibald Barisol, the worst student of them all. Remember when you're in school, there was one kid in your class that shall we call him a prick? Archibald Barisol. One day we were studying phonics. I said, Archibald, can you say your name in phonetic syllables? He said, hell no. I need an example. I said, fair enough. Looked around the room. I said, Mary Smith. And Mary Smith stood straight up because she's an A student. She says, my name is Mary Smith. 
You got your M-A, you got your May, you got your R-Y, you got your Re, you got your Mary, you got your S-M-I-T-H, you got your Smith. You got your Re Smith, you got your May Smith, you got your Mary Smith. I said, very, very good. I said, Archibald, he said, hell no. <laughs> I need an example. I said, fair enough. <laughs> Looked around the room, I said, Johnny Jones. And Johnny Jones stood straight up because he's an A student. Actually a D, but we'll make him an A student for this joke. <laughs> he said, my name is Johnny Jones. You got your J-O-H-N, you got your John. You got your N-Y, you got your knee, you got your John E. You got your J-O-N-E-S, you got your Jones. You got your knee Jones, you got your John Jones, you got your John E. Jones. I said, very, very good. I said, Archibald, he said, you asked for it, fucker. <laughs> so my name is Archibald Barisal. You got your A-R-C-H, you got your Arch. You got your I, you got your Arch I. You got your B-A-L-D, you got your Bald. You got your I Bald, you got your Arch Bald, you got your Arch I Bald. You got your B-A-R-E, you got your bear. You got your bald bear, you got your eye bald bear. You got your arch eye bald bear. You got your A-S-S, you got your ass. You got your bear ass. You got your bald bear ass. You got your eye bald bear ass. You got your arch eye bald bear ass. You got your O-L, you got your roll. You got your asshole. You got your bear asshole. You got your bald bear asshole. You got your eye bald bear asshole. You got your arch eye bald bear asshole. I said very, very good. Big Elvis fan, recently got to go to Graceland. Anybody here? Any Elvis fans? Been to Graceland? Did you have a good time? No? The reason I ask, I didn't get to see the whole thing. Guess who got kicked out of Elvis's house? <laughs> Let me tell you three things you never want to do. <laughs> at Elvis's house. Number one, never try and get a prescription for Percodan filled at the gift shop. <laughs> Number two, when you're out by Elvis's grave, don't let anybody catch you lighting a cigarette off that eternal flame. <laughs> Number three, if you do manage to sneak upstairs to that second floor bathroom, whatever you do, don't yell out, it smells like someone died up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they'll throw your ass right out. 